My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, Amron. For once, it's not raining today. So we're here at the Fallscar docks, and I need to speak with Wolf. And this boat can also get us back to Skyrim. Just let me know when you're ready. Wolf. If you like music, go see Rook at the Inn in Ever Creek. All right. But do you know where the Frost Runner's wreck is? Ah, you're looking for Svea. Honestly, I think the Frost Runner's wreck is just off the coast by the ice caves. But I'm not certain. All right. And why didn't you tell that to Harold? I didn't trust him. It sounds like a good-for-nothing treasure hunter, and like he made up that story about his family. That ring belongs to Svea. Well, that's good to know. How can a place this nice be so dangerous? The coast may look docile and beautiful, but it's just as deadly as the rest of Falskar. We don't have much law from before our arrival, but what we do have refers to this place as the Dread Coast. It used to shield the land from the Arctic winds, and was one of the most dangerous places on the entire island. The shoreline is littered with sunken reminders of the treachery that lies behind those calm waves. It's so bad that I'm the only one who still runs a boat to Skyrim, at least officially. The shores also serve as an inlet for swarms of bandits and hired blades, ready to pillage the land and take all that we have left. But I'm probably just making it sound worse than it is. We get by. It isn't always easy, but we make do. And are you all right? You seem rather... distracted. Well, actually, no. I'm not all right. I recently found something that's brought up a lot of questions about some old friends. And who were they? Two friends of my parents. They ran the lighthouse a long time ago. Jana and Alvar were friends of my parents when my mother was pregnant with me. A long time ago. They lived in the lighthouse and kept it running, guiding boats in during storms or dark nights. One day, out of nowhere, they left on a trip to Skyrim. A few days later, they were supposed to return, by boat, of course. That night, there was a particularly nasty storm, and they never made it home. After they weren't heard from for several days, a guardsman went up to check on them, to see if they were all right. He was never seen or heard from again, and so rumors arose about that place being haunted. As far as I know, nobody has stepped foot in that place since that guard, and that was damn near 50 years ago. So, what has you so worried about all this, all of a sudden? Well, it was all ghost tales and bedtime stories, until recently. I was walking on the beach the other day, clearing my head before running a shipment to Skyrim, and I found something. In a small dugout on the beach was a sack of old coins and a letter. These coins, the really old, must have been on that beach for ages, and the letter was from my parents. I think it belonged to Jaina. Why would they hide something like this on the beach? What happened to them? Now I really want to find out. And why don't you go and find out? I would, but I'm constantly running trips between Falskar and Skyrim. 
Being the only tradesman left in this land doesn't exactly leave me the free time to go ghost hunting. Plus, what if giant spirit really haunts that place? I hate to ask it, so I'll leave it as more of a suggestion. If you were to take a look, I'd be in your debt. I've always wondered what really happened to them, so finding out would be nice. Just be careful, and let me know if you find out what happened to them. All right, very well. So, I will ask this. I've already been told. But I want you to tell me if you can take me to Skyrim. Oi there, Nimes Wolf. I'm the captain of the ship docked here. I wanted to thank you for helping out. Damned bandits snuck up on us. Now, I also wanted to offer to you the service of my boat. If you need to travel between Falskard and Skyrim, as long as I'm in port, I'll take you. However, it won't be free. I wish it could be, but travel simply costs too much these days. It'll be 500 gold a trip. <laughs> I know it's a bit steep, but oh, I'll shift is. my schedule for your convenience. Hopefully that's all right. It's the best I can offer. The trip takes less than a day. Just hop on the boat whenever you need to go and I'll get things in order. You can even have the top bunk. That's very kind. All right. I can use the trap door to travel to Dawnstar. Be careful out there on the coast. Thank you. All right. We don't need to go to Skyrim just yet. I never really got a chance to spend any time here at the docks. What the? You know, it was just come in, kill the bandits, and leave. Enric? I still can't believe what happened to Borvald. No one seems to be able to believe it. What have you got for sale? Well, see for yourself. Mm, plenty of bolts. Which I am not supposed to be using right now. All right, thank you, Henrik. Safe travels. All right, it's a good thing that I am quite wealthy. I'm right behind you. So that I can afford the huh? trip back to Skyrim. Come on, let's go. All right. We need to search the Frost Runner. For the amber ring. Unfortunately, it looks like it's out there in the middle of the ocean. All right, um, you probably should wait here, Amran. I'm right behind you. As you wish. So a polar bear.
not bad for a... <laughs> a so-called archmage. So, we have some sort of cave here. Hmm. Alright, I'm not going in there yet. Let me stick to my mission. Was simple enough. Being a vampire, I can hold my breath underwater indefinitely. All right. Let me find Amran. Did I hear some? Oh. oh, it was you drawing your. We heading out. Sword. Yes, Let's follow me. All right, we have several choices here. I found the amber ring, and we can bring that back. When we head there, oh, I've lost my illusion. can also check out this lighthouse. too kind to the people here, the bandits, and not consumed blood regularly enough. I may have to change that. sure what exactly I'm here to find. Lady in the Lighthouse. Wolf has informed me that his parents' friends, Janna and Alvar, disappeared long ago. It is rumored that they ha haunt the Lighthouse. I should investigate. Let's 
Sounds like Amran. Well, someone's knocked over the brazier. Is this anything that I can correct? Apparently not. All right, let's get on with the exploration then. All right, Amran, it's this way. Jana's diary. Eighteenth of Rain's Hand. We're leaving today to go to Skyrim. We'll be back in three days. Hopefully with enough money to make those thieving bandits leave us alone. Twenty-first of Rain's Hand. By the Nine. What's happened? We had no choice. We had to take the money. So many innocent lives could have helped. We could have helped. Should have. But no, we need it. Alvar has become very ill and I fear he may die. If he does, I don't know what I'll do. We've hidden the gold in the dungeon. I hope those bandits never find it. 23rd of Rain's Hand. They came again today. I simply didn't answer the door. Next time I fear they'll break it in. I have no choice but to go and hide with the gold. The bandits don't know about the trap door. They won't be able to find me there. I'll be safe. Alvar is close to death. I must leave him up here. I have no choice. Hmm, unfortunate. And this must be Alvor. Hmm, a banknote. All right. see if we can't find the ghost. Here's the trap door. Ah, and a lever. like the looks of this nor should you all right Amron come on keep up I always do everything by myself. So what is this? This took me right back. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's close this back. Well, this is another way out. Oh. 
All right, Amran. It's this way, then. And there's the ghost. Torn pages. I'm getting too sick, just like Alvar. By the gods, I had to leave him up there. Who knows what those sick bandits have done to his body. They came today, searched the place, tore it apart. But they didn't find the trap door. Thank the Nine for that. We had to uncover it to open it in the first place. And never had time to cover it back up. I still hear those people screaming. We should have helped them in the violent storm. Our boat began to sink. We could have helped those people, but instead we made a run for the galley. We stole the treasure. We couldn't let it sink to the bottom of the ocean. We needed it. But those people... Not that this is any better. My beloved Alvar is dead, and I... I am dying. All right, this is a tragic story, Amran. And I'm not sure what our part in this is going to be. I'm going to continue to collect these healing potions for you. Still unbelievable the beating both of us took at the hands of the necromancers. All right, I need to find the key. journal along with the key I have half a mind to destroy this key but someone must find it I fear I may not rest until the treasure is in good hands we're tainted we're not worthy of it someone who is kind of heart and pure of soul must find it so that we may be free of its burden I have left in this journal a key for the gate I'll hide the journal gods know those bandits are too stump brained to find it I must go now I'll close the gate locking myself in then I won't be tempted to leave I can't I must stay with the gold we fought so hard to get I suppose I'm collecting these notes and journals for Wolf. Let's go. There's the ghost again. And she's gone. So this is what this was all about this treasure room and this must be Janna hmm. to wolf's parents So much, we could have paid back the bandits and given some to our friends to help raise Wolf. I have grown quite ill and my hours are numbered. I pray that in spirit I may guide someone to the treasure. It must not go into the hands of those bandits. Please, if anyone finds this money, give some of it to Wolf's parents at the docks. Then it can go to making a newborn happy, and maybe that can wash it of its curse. Hmm. 
suppose I could sell those. Amran, I think that's it. This was rather uneventful. Oh, this was Adra and Daedra. Okay. I didn't want to miss any journals. Okay, so we do have to go the other way. What can I do for you, friend? Uh, no, that's going up. We want to go out. Huh? Look out. Look, Amran. Move. Thank you. All right, then. Let's go back to Sea Wolf. I'm surprised that there were no bandits or nothing jumping out at us. still going to be on my guard. But I suppose it has been quite a number of years. They've given up on finding this treasure. Fortunately, since there were no bandits, I have not been able to eat. Let me refresh my mask. I don't want it to fail. friend I searched the lighthouse you did why the grim look what did you find in there what happened to my parents friends the lighthouse is haunted by nothing more than Jana's remorse for her actions remorse for her actions by the nine what happened to them they were being pressured by bandits for money, so they went to Skyrim for help. They needed money. If they had only asked my parents, what happened next? On the way back, their ship sunk, and they stole the gold that was on board. They... Those bandits must have been tough on them. Alva would never do such a thing. Not from what I know about him anyway. So why the ghost stories? 
they both got sick and died, so Janna's spirit restlessly roamed the halls. So then the stories were true, partially at least. Thank you for this. I've always wondered them. Now I know. By the way, I found the gold. Janna wanted you to have this. By the... Really? This will help me very much. Thank you so much for this. Honesty isn't something that is seen much these days. Please, if you ever need a ride to Skyrim, I'll lower the fee to a modest 100 oh. gold permanently. Now that we're talking. Of my gratitude. Well, that May is Arval gratitude. and the lady in the lighthouse be guided swiftly to Sovereign God. All right, very well. That's quite the deal. But yes, Wolf, you must know that I have more money now than I know what to do with. So parting with 1,000 gold was next to nothing. Stay safe. You as well. All right, Amran. It looks like it's back to Amber Creek. And then see what other <clears throat> tasks the inhabitants have for us. <laughs>